Hey everyone, Valve just officially released a new built-in feature in Steam Deck called Game Recording. For those who might not know, this feature allows you to easily capture and share your gameplay moments. You can record in the background or manually start and stop recordings. Clips can be edited and shared directly from the Steam Deck. This feature is great for capturing highlights, documenting gameplay sessions, or creating content to share with others. Unfortunately, the sharing process has some limitations for longer clips, and there's no option to directly export the original file to your desktop. So I'm going to show you how to get the original file from your recording and convert it to MP4 on both Mac and PC. Before we start, make sure your Steam Deck is updated to version 3.16.20 to use this feature. In order to start recording, you need to enable in the settings first. Press the Steam button and scroll down to the Game Recording menu. In here, you have to select the option that you want between Auto and Manual Record. The default settings is off. This time, I'll select the Record in Background option to automatically start recording my gameplay when I enter a game. While playing, you can check the recording status at the top of the overlay menu at any time. After playing for a while, I realized that I couldn't stand how bad I was playing anymore, so let's go and see how to export the file onto the desktop. You can check your recordings by pressing the Steam button and going to the Media menu. All your clips will be there, but they need some editing task before sharing. And oh my god, if the clip is longer than 60 seconds or over 100 megabytes, some export options won't be available, or you might not be able to share it at all, which can be a real headache. So, let's go straight to the original raw footage file. The easiest way to access is by connecting to your Steam Deck using an SSH connection. You can do this on both Mac and PC with a simple console command and a free application like FileZilla or any FTP app of your choice. If you don't have FileZilla, let's go ahead and download it for free. Let's start. Go to desktop mode on your Steam Deck to prepare your device for the SSH connection. A mouse and keyboard are optional but can make control and typing easier in this mode. Open the console application, we'll run a few commands here. Starting with setting up a password required for the SSH connection to your device. Type PASSWD, hit enter, set and reconfirm your password. The next two commands enable the SSH tunnel, allowing your desktop to access and retrieve the file wirelessly. Enter your newly created password when prompted. That's all set on the Steam Deck. Now let's switch back to gaming mode to check the device's IP address, which you'll need to use in the FTP application. Make sure your Steam Deck and your PC or Mac are on the same network. This is required for the connection. On your PC or Mac, open FileZilla or any FTP app you have, the process is the same. Enter the IP address of your Steam Deck as the host, with the username as deck and the password you just set. May God help you if you've already forgotten it, set the port to 22. Press connect button and the connection should be successful, you can now access the file. But the recording files are kept in the hidden folder so you need to set the app to show hidden files in the server menu. The video files are stored in the following folder path. Dot local, share, steam, user data, your ID folder, game recordings, and finally the video folder. If I'm going too fast, you can check the video description for the path as well. Copy the entire folder to your desired location in the left panel. Do not copy the file itself, as we'll need everything inside the folder. Actually, this should be done by now, but oh my god. The file inside these folders isn't what we expected, it's not a single ready-to-use file. Instead, it's made up of raw chunk files in M4S and MPD format, which isn't widely supported. So, you have one last step, 
convert all these files to MP4 using a program called FFmpeg. For macOS, you can install FFmpeg using the terminal app. Launch the built-in terminal and run these commands. The first set of command installs Homebrew, a package manager, and then you'll use Homebrew to install FFmpeg. Again, you can check the video description for the commands if you need them. Let's start converting. Go to the video path that contains all the chunk files. Type CD and then drag the folder into the terminal window to autofill the path. After that, type ls to see all the files. Use this final command to convert the file. You can replace output file with your desired file name. Some of you might see this error message, just like I did, but don't worry. The process has finished successfully. You can go check the output file in the same folder. For Windows PC, you can go to the official FFmpeg website to download the program directly. Once downloaded, unzip the file and the program should be inside the bin folder. To make FFmpeg available system-wide, you need to edit the system environment variables. Open the system properties by typing env in the program search bar and open it. In the System Properties window, go to the Advanced tab and click Environment Variables. In the Environment Variables window, under System Variables, scroll down and select the Path variable, then click Edit. In the Edit Environment Variable window, click New and then paste the full path to the bin folder, click OK and close all the windows. Verify that everything works correctly by opening Command Prompt. Press Windows or type CMD and press Enter. Then type FFmpeg version to check its version. Let's start converting. Go to the video path that contains all the chunk files and use the same command as on macOS. Again, don't worry about the error you might see. The file is already there for you. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing and share your thoughts in the comments. I'll make sure to reply to every comment as quickly as I can.